Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to cover the rollover in the run row section in the Argus Excel model. I will go through how to assign leasing profiles to tenants in this video. Let's go to the run row tab. Two lease terms can be modeled out in the Argus Excel model which means that I can model whether there's a renewal or rollover two times for each tenant. I'm going to assign the major tenant market listing profile to the first tenant, NBC Marketing Services, as its size is greater than 10,000 square feet. I can see the progress bar flashes on the screen two times. That is the computer inputting major tenant listing profile for the first rollover and the second rollover automatically for me. Click on the rollover button. I can see the rent has been filled out for me. The rent is $17, which is the market rent of the major tenant market listing profile. The downtime period and the free rent period are labeled for me. And I can count four months downtime and four months free rent period. This eight month rent is counted towards gross potential revenue, but they are subtracted as absorption and turnover vacancy in the cash flow. Everything looks good. I'm going to close the window. Scrolling to the right, I can see four months downtime on the re renewal probability of 65% matches what I input in the major tenant marking listing profile. Under written tenant improvement of $22 is the weighted average number from the major tenant listing profile. Total under written tenant improvement is calculated as the under written tenant improvement times NBC Marketing Services square feet, which is 48,174 times 22 equals to 1,059,828. Under written leasing commission, under written free rent, and under written lease term all matches what I have input in the major tenant market leasing profile. Keep scrolling to your right. I can see the second run row has been automatically assigned the major tenant market leasing profile. The downtime, renewal probability, tenant improvement and other variables are consistent with the major tenant market listing profile. Let's scroll back a little bit. The second tenant has 2,507 square feet. This fits the definition of a minor tenant. Click on the rollover button for the second tenant. I can see the $19 rent is already in place, which is what I input for the minor tenant market listing profile. Let's scroll back to the right. The downtime, renewal probability, tenant improvement, and other variables are consistent with the minor tenant market listing profile. Going to the next tenant about 1,200 square feet, assign a minor tenant leasing profile. The next tenant is about 1,200 square feet, assign a minor tenant leasing profile. This one is about 5,500 square feet. Assign a medium tenant leasing profile. The next three tenants are also medium tenants.
BMP Media occupies a space about 17,000 square feet, assigned a major tenant market leasing profile. The next two tenants are medium tenants. And the next four tenants are minor tenants. Now I can see the power of the marquee listing profiles. I can simply assign a profile in the drop down menu and all the work is automatically done for me. I still got four empty suites left. I will cover them in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.